Hey guys, welcome back to AppGeeker channel. This is another iPhone unlocking tutorial here. If your iPhone is running iOS 15.1 or earlier, and you entered the wrong passcode too many times, it shows you iPhone is disabled and try again in one minute on the screen like this, wait a while, enter the passcode again, now you need to wait 5 minutes this time. Okay, let's try again, look. The screen shows iPhone is disabled and try again in 15 minutes if you've completely forgotten the passcode and entered it wrong passcode too many times, your iPhone will disable and lock you out. If you entered the wrong passcode for 10 times, you'll get a message that you should connect your disabled iPhone to iTunes, which can help you restore your phone to factory settings by using computer. Let's move on. Run iTunes on your desktop. If you don't have an iTunes, you can download it from Apple's official website and the link will be put in the description. There's one thing you have to note that you need to check if your iTunes is running the newest version. Click help on the top bar. Click check for updates to check the current version. Okay, let's continue. What I am going to do is connecting this phone to the computer by using a USB cable. But the phone can't be detected by iTunes because it is disabled. Now you need to place it into recovery mode. For iPhone 8 or later, press and quickly release the volume up button, press and quickly release the volume down button, keep pressing the side button, You don't need to drag the power off slider, the phone will automatically shut down, show you the Apple logo. When you see a cable point to a computer, let go of the button, now your phone is in recovery mode. Once it gets into the recovery mode, iTunes can detect your disabled phone now and it will have a pop-up window that asks you to restore or update your iPhone, let's select restore. Click restore and update to confirm. Now it starts downloading the newest iOS software for your phone. If the download time is over 15 minutes, your iPhone will be out of recovery mode and go back to disabled screen. You need to repeat the steps we mentioned before, but the download will not stop. Once the download finished, it starts extracting the software from your disabled iPhone and reinstalling the latest software for your iPhone. Now you can see an Apple logo then followed by the Apple logo and progress bar. This progress will erase all your data and settings, including your passcode. Now you need to wait for a while when the Apple logo reappears and shows the hello screen. Congratulations, your phone is unlocked now. Press the home button, now you can set up your phone like the first time you bought it. If the iTunes can't help you unlock your iPhone successfully, there's a third-party tool called iPhone Unlocker from AppGeeker, which can help you unlock your disabled iPhone in four steps. Let's move on. First of all, search www.appgeeker.com in the web browser, jump to the homepage of AppGeeker, scroll down and find the iPhone Unlocker. Here both Win Download and Mac Download are available, now I'm gonna choose Win Download. Once you downloaded and installed, launch it on the desktop. This is its interface. In our case, click on wipe passcode then click start button. Here I've placed my iPhone into recovery mode before, so the device can be detected by the tool automatically. The operation is the same as last method. Once you're in recovery mode, you'll jump to the next page. Select the device category and type for your phone, then click Start button. Now the newest iOS software will be downloaded for your phone and the time mostly depends on your network. Once it downloaded, it will jump out an alert window letting you know that all your data will be erased. Enter 0000, then click on Unlock to confirm your option. Now iPhone Unlocker will do its job. It starts unlocking your iPhone now and it may take a few minutes. Keep your device connected to the computer during unlocking process. 
When the phone finished loading and showed you the hello screen, congratulations, your iPhone is unlocked successfully and there's no disabled message on your screen anymore. The next method you can unlock your disabled iPhone is using Find iPhone on iCloud.com. You need to prepare another device previously, no matter a computer or a phone. Now I'm going to use an iPhone to help me search for iCloud.com in the website. If it is not your own device, you should sign in the same Apple ID you sued in your locked iPhone because I've signed in with my Apple ID before, so I just need to confirm the account again and then enter the screen passcode. Once it finished loading, tap Find iPhone on the screen. Select the disabled iPhone from the list. If you don't see your disabled iPhone here, maybe it's your locked iPhone doesn't connect to network or you didn't set Enable Find My in the settings. Once you selected, tap Erase option. It will pop up a warning message to remind you that it will erase all your content and settings. Tap Continue to confirm. Here, it will jump out a warning message to let you know if you recover this. Some services may be temporarily unavailable after it is restored. Tap OK to confirm. Now, I put my iPhone 12 away. Look, this disabled phone is restoring now and the process will also take a while. Once it finished and completed setup, you can use your phone like a new one. If the erasing process doesn't have any response on your locked iPhone and you've set enabled Find My before, Let's see the next method to unlock the disabled iPhone is by using Find My app and it requires you to have another iOS device. I still continue using this iPhone 12 I used before. Now I will open Find My app. If you never signed in with your Apple ID before, you should sign in with the account on this page and make sure that you use the same Apple ID as your locked iPhone. I've signed in with my account before, so I'm gonna tap device option at the bottom. Then select your locked iPhone from the list. If your device is offline, it will be erased the next time you connect to the internet. Swipe up. Then tap erase this device, then go on. Tap continue button to confirm your option. Tap erase on the top right corner. Here you need to enter your Apple ID's password. Okay, you can see the erase pending on the screen. Now you can see your locked iPhone remove the passcode on your disabled iPhone to restore it back to factory settings. When you see the hello screen, congratulations, you can use your iPhone as usual. Okay, so that's all for today's video. If it helps, don't forget to give us a like, and I'll be grateful if you subscribe. See you in next video.